Hey, how's it going, everyone? Charles with CE Snyder Marketing LLC, and this is the 11th episode of My Personal Brand. Today, I, I talk about a lot of things in the article today, but I'm going to focus on just one thing for the video because I'm trying to keep these under 10 minutes. So I've talked a lot about who I am, what I like, what I don't like, uh, my vision of the future, the way we're going future plans, stuff coming up, talked about a lot about Marketing Ninja Weekly Kicks Club. So today I want to focus on really demonstrating my value as a marketer and the value of my agency for providing these kinds of services. So here's where, you know, today's all about establishing authority. And authority is becoming, you know, proving, demonstrating, not telling, but demonstrating your value, your knowledge that you bring to the table for your customers. So not only am I talking about how you can do, how you can demonstrate this value, but this is part of the branding process for my own company, my personal brand. So I'm accomplishing two things with one, you know, uh, one video and article. <laughs> That's the whole purpose of this anyway. So skipping over a lot of stuff in uh, a lot of the preamble in the article, I'm going to dive right into the value. I want to drop a serious knowledge nugget on you today about marketing. Just a real quick background on this. I talk a lot about knowing who your customer is, you know, who your ideal customer is, who your target audience is defining a customer avatar, targeting your niche. I've done probably almost 25% of the content I have created all talks about that one aspect because everything else, running ads, content marketing, blogging, creating videos and ads and offers, all is based upon knowing your audience and what their pain is and how you can solve it. Problem, solution. I've talked about this before. And one of the things that really bugs me about a lot of these online gurus is, and I've even seen one of the big names tell people that if they don't under, uh, understand this aspect of it, they should go Google it. But they want you to give them money, <laughs> which it doesn't cost you anything to go Google something. And you can skip over their BS entirely. But this is where I'm proving, I'm demonstrating that I'm different than 99% of the other Yahoo's out there. And my phones are just blowing up today. <laughs> but that's what happens when you know your audience and your ads and your offers don't suck. They're geared towards your audience. Anyway, it's Wednesday. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, Turkey Holocaust Day, and Black Friday is coming up. So this may not apply to you this year, but next year, definitely be set up and be ready for this. So this is where I'm going to demonstrate value, because once you know who your audience is, you can then create ad copy, offers, blogs, videos, etc., targeted to those audience that they're going to find useful, they're going to want to watch, they're going to want to interact with, they're going to want to check out your offer. And when you do that, if you're running an ad on, say, Facebook or Google, they're going to click on that. Now, Google and Facebook, well, first off, Facebook owns Instagram. Google owns YouTube. So those four are covered by two companies. Those two companies, Facebook and Google, are in business to make money for their shareholders. They make money by selling advertising to people like you and me. So for this example, I'm going to say we have two, two examples, company A, company B. Company A knows their audience. They create great content. They put together a great offer that is, uh, appeals to their target audience. And they run an ad. Company B 
creates an ad, but they have no idea who their audience is. They have no idea how to create a offer that appeals to their audience, but somehow company A and company B are advertising to the same people. Both of them are paying a dollar a click, dollar a view, um, whatever the case may be. So Facebook makes a dollar off each click or view that company A and company B have. However, this is where it all comes together. Company A, knowing they're smart marketers, they know their audience, they created a hot offer, and they're targeting that specific off uh, that audience. So they're getting shares, they're getting likes, they're getting comments, and they're getting people clicking on their offer. We'll say they get 100. They get 100 likes, shares, comments, and clicks. Company B, not so smart, has no idea what's going on. They just figure if they put up an ad, people will show up. They get no love. They get less than, you know, they get like their family and friends to like it and share it. And it's less than 10. So Facebook right now is making $100 off of company A and less than $10 off of company B. Who do you think Facebook is going to show the ad for to more people? Company A, who they just made $100 off of, or Company B, who they made less than $10 off of or no money at all? Company A, Facebook is going to give them the love. Company A is going to get put in front of more people like that on Facebook. They're going to get a lot more exposure. So now, because of how high the relevancy is for company A, their cost per click, lead, view, whatever, goes way down. And when it goes way down, they get in front of, they can pay for more placement. They can get put in front of more people because Facebook knows if they show companies a hot ass ad to more people like that, they're going to get more clicks and Facebook's going to make more money. Whereas company B, who isn't getting any kind of traction, isn't getting any kind of low, they have to charge more to make any kind of money off of company B at all. And if they're not getting any money, Facebook isn't going to show their ad. It's as simple as that. So with Black Friday coming up, everyone, the brothers doing ads. The ones that have the high relevancy scores are going to get seen by more people. They're going to be up longer. It's going to be cheaper and they're going to get a hell of a lot more leads, clicks, likes, shares, views, whatever the case may be. Company B isn't going to get seen at all. Or it's going to get seen so infrequently that it just doesn't matter. Company A makes money. Company B does not. Facebook makes money off of company A. Facebook does not make money off of company B. Do you see how this works? You don't need to Google this. This is common sense that, you know, so once you understand that aspect of how Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, Twitter, and all these other ones actually work with ads, then you, it puts it into perspective how knowing your audience, how very important that is. So my gal, my golden marketing knowledge nugget is know who your audience is, create offers, create videos, images, and uh, advertising, ad copy that appeals to that audience. Know your audience, speak to them on their terms, and you'll make a lot of money. So at this point, I'm going to wish you a happy Turkey Holocaust Day. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope you enjoy it or uh, spend it with family and friends, loved ones, etc. I'm going to be with my family tomorrow, so I'm probably not going to be doing a whole lot business wise. <laughs> but today, my phone has been blowing up and everything else. But anyway, you have two choices at this point. You can do learn how to do this stuff on your own such as joining the Marketing Ninja Week Kicks Club. I'll put the link down here. For $5 a month, once a week, I teach you different aspects of how to target an audience, create a hot ass ad that people love, talking about relevancy, targeting your niche, and all that fun stuff. It's going to be a year full of that kind of stuff.
learning how you can do it for your business. Or you can hire us to do it for you because we can do it in a fraction of the time. We know how to do it. And I have an example of one of a group of ads that we've actually been running over the past several months where I've gotten uh, my relevancy score. Our relevancy score has been so high on our ads that we've gotten leads as low as 22 cents per click or you know per view. To this date, we have been seeing more than 3.5 million times on Facebook alone. So I'll leave it at that. Again, happy Thanksgiving. Love, peace, and chicken grease.